I welcome you all to my 18th lecture on digital signal processing, that is UEC 502, for electronics and communication engineering students and electronics and computer engineering students. In the last lecture, we have done article on design of FIR filters using different window functions. So, including Kaiser window. So today we will design an FIR low pass filter to meet prescribed specifications using the Kaiser window. The specifications are symmetric FIR filter with linear face, the pass band edge frequency omega p is equal to 0.4 pi, stop band edge frequency omega is equal to 0.6 pi, pass band ripple is equal to delta p is equal to 0.01, Stop and ripple delta S is equal to 0 0.001. Now for low pass filter design using window functions, the resulting filter will have the same peak area error delta equal to minimum delta P comma delta S equal to 0 0.001 in both the pass band and the stop band. Here the cutoff frequency omega C that is approximation. We decide cutoff frequency omega c through approximation, which is equal to omega p plus omega s by 2, which is coming out to be 0.5 pi. Now, first compute necessary parameters required for the Kaiser window. Now, delta omega for low pass filter, uh, low pass window is omega s minus omega p equal to 0.2 pi. And A is equal to minus 20 log 10 delta. Here delta is 0 0.001. So it is coming out to be plus 60 dB. And corresponding to this value of A from the table, beta is equal to 0 0.1102 bracket A minus 8.7. That is coming out to be 5.6533. And for this delta omega and A, we can decide the number of coefficients. That is M should be greater than or equal to A minus 8 divided by 2.285 delta omega. Equal to 60 minus 8 divided by 2.285 into 0.2 pi. And on solution, I will find that it is nearly equal to 37. And alpha is found to be M minus 1 by 2 is equal to 18. Now, I would like to emphasize on the fact that this omega p is pass band edge frequency, omega s is top band edge frequency, and in between, I will decide a cutoff frequency omega c with, by approximation that is equal to omega p plus omega s by 2 equal to 0.5 pi. We know that for the design of a symmetric low pass linear F phase FIR filter, HN is equal to HDN into WN need to be computed first as discussed in the last lecture. So here HDN is sine omega C bracket N minus bracket M minus one by two divided by pi bracket N minus bracket M minus one by two. So it is HDN for low pass filter. Now, the window function, that is Kaiser window function, is equal to, in time domain is equal to I naught, that is zeroth order vessel function, modified vessel function of first kind. And this is the expression for Kaiser window in time domain, including beta, alpha, and I naught for n 0 to m minus 1 and this is 0 otherwise I mark it as equation a now what I will do hn I will compute hn is equal to hdn into wn so hn will be multiplication of hdn and wn as shown but this window function as it is defined for 0 to m minus 1 so hn will have length 0 to m minus 1 
and zero otherwise. Now, after computation of HN in discrete time domain, this is impulse response of flow pass filter. I will calculate its DTFT, which gives me H omega. That is its frequency response. So H omega is frequency response of low pass filter using Kaiser window. And correspondingly, the magnitude response is 20 log 10 magnitude H omega versus omega. I will show you the results obtained through MATLAB. Here, omega C is 0.5 pi. Now, here the end frequency is omega Z, omega is varying from 0 to pi. And on this axis, it is 20 log 10 H magnitude H omega. It is response for low pass filter designed with Kaiser window. Now I have chosen two values, beta is equal to zero and beta is equal to 5.6533, which have I have achieved from the calculations as shown above. Now I have discussed in the last lecture when beta is equal to zero, the Kaiser window is equivalent to rectangular window. So the omega C is set as at 0.5 pi. So what happened is this red color indicates Kaiser window and green color indicates rectangular window. So look at this. If I design the filter through Kaiser window, the side lobes are too low and as compared to the rectangular window. In rectangular window, side lobes are significantly high. In Kaiser window, you can see that the, there is a smooth transition of response from pass band to stop band. And in the pass band, the magnitude response is nearly, that is, I'm using the word nearly constant. The magnitude response is nearly constant for Kaiser window. But here, for the rectangular window, if I will design low pass filter through rectangular window, then I can see the ripples in pass band. That is because of rectangular window usage. So I will go for the Kaiser window in design. So that is my favorite window also, the Kaiser window. That is why I have designed low pass filter using Kaiser window. And for further analysis, I will use this window. The design of, next is the design of an FIR high pass filter to meet prescribed specifications using the Kaiser window. Now the specific, now we will discuss high pass filter, how you will design high pass filter. The specifications are symmetric FIR filter with linear phase. Here in frequency domain, it is indicated as H H P E raised per G omega, which is desired response H D omega, which is zero for angular frequency ranging between zero to omega C. Omega C is cutoff frequency. <coughs> But it is having HD omega is equal to E raised to power minus J omega M minus one by two for omega C, for omega lying between omega C and pi. So this is the high pass filter range, frequency range. Now here this phase has come because a delay of M minus one by two units is incorporated into HD omega to attain a filter of length M. We have done in previous lectures that HDN need to be shifted or delayed by M minus one by two and that de delay in time domain appears as a phase in HD omega. So by taking inverse DTFT, we can obtain HHPN is equal to HDN, the desired response. Now HDN is equal to one by two pi here omega is from ranging from omega c to pi. So one by two pi omega c to pi e raised to minus j omega m minus one by two e raised to power j omega and d omega plus one by two pi integral minus pi to minus omega c e raised to minus j omega m minus one by two e raised to j omega and d omega. Now I can express this, these terms in integration as this also by using the concepts of signals and systems and I will mark it as equation B. 
before solving this that this then equation b is equivalent to h h p e raised to power j omega is equal to e raised to power minus j omega m minus 1 by 2 minus h l p e raised to power j omega this is actually response of low pass filter so i am instead of this i am writing h l h l p e raised to power j omega and this when integrated from minus pi to pi so i can write this equation from this equation i can write that h h p e raised to power j omega j omega is can be represented by this equation also now for the solution of this i can write that h d n is equal to sin pi n minus bracket m minus 1 by 2 over pi bracket n minus bracket m minus 1 by 2 minus sin omega c bracket n minus bracket m minus 1 by 2 divided by pi bracket n minus bracket m minus 1 by 2 and here n is ranging from minus infinity to infinity this expression is for hdn for high pass filter and this is showing the non causal nature and to make it realizable i will use window once more similar to previous case using the window method for fi filter design the impulse response of high pass filter hn is equal to hdn this into window function from equation a for kaiser window from equation a this is equation a wn so i will take it there and now hn is having finite duration that is 0 to m minus 1 now taking dtft of hn i will get h e raised to j omega that is frequency response of high pass filter using the kaiser window and therefore the magnitude response is 20 log 10 magnitude h omega versus omega these are the calculations for the low pass window low pass filter mark it as d and e design of fir band pass filter to meet prescribed specification using the kaiser window this is next article the students can use this formula for hdn and then multiply it by kaiser window to achieve hn and you can calculate dtft through matlab and plot the magnitude response easily and the next article is design of an fir bandpass filter to meet prescribed specification using the kaiser window the specifications symmetric fir filter with linear face now hbpf e raised to j omega is equal to h d omega is equal to h l p e raised to j omega this is low pass filter response with cutoff frequency omega 1 minus h cap l p e raised to j omega with cutoff frequency omega 2 so this is a low pass filter with frequency cutoff frequency omega 1 this is another low pass filter with cutoff frequency omega 2 for making a band pass filter omega 1 must be greater than omega 2 don't forget this is the stringent condition and this is the formula in frequency domain so by taking inverse dtft we obtain hbpfn that is time domain samples from hbpf e raised to j omega now hbpfn is equal to hdn that is desired impulse response of filter is equal to taking its inverse dt dtft it is hlpn taking its inverse dtft this is h cap lpn this is low pass filter impulse response this is also low pass filter impulse response but cutoff frequencies are different for both that is omega 1 is greater than omega 2 so this is equal to from low pass filter design sine omega 1 n minus m minus 1 by 2 divided by pi bracket n minus bracket m minus 1 by 2 minus sine omega 2 n minus bracket m minus 1 by 2 divided by pi bracket n minus m minus 1 by 2. So this minus sign appears here and by youth by using this HDN. Now look at this. This HDN is also uh, uh, here uh, non-causal because samples are appearing for 
n ranging from minus infinity to infinity. So similar to the previous case, using the window method for FIR filter design, the impulse response of band pass filter HN is equal to HDN into WN. And WN is Kaiser window function for zero n ranging from zero to m minus one. And by using this HDN and the Kaiser window function as discussed as described by equation A, I can get HN. And once more, by DTFT, I can calculate H e raised to the power j omega, that is frequency response of band pass filter using Kaiser window, and corresponding magnitude response is 20 log 10 magnitude h omega versus omega. I have designed it using MATLAB. Now I have set omega c one is equal to 0.7 pi, omega c is equal to 0.3 pi. And omega c one is greater than omega c two. Delta omega is coming out to be point two pi. A is equal to plus sixty dB. Beta is equal to five point six five three three. M is equal to thirty seven. M is equal to thirty seven. And I have designed this Kaiser window, uh, a, a band pass filter through using Kaiser window, and the response is as shown. I am not the ripples in the pass band are very low, and the side lobes in the stop band are also having very low magnitude. So I would like to. Design my band pass filter using Kaiser window. Design of an next is design of an FIR band reject filter to meet prescribed specification using the Kaiser window. Now the specification symmetric FIR filter with linear face, and for that HBRF that is band reject filter HBRF e raised to j omega, which is desired response H d omega, and this is equal to H L P e raised to j omega with cut off omega one frequency plus H H P e raised to j omega with cut off omega two frequency. This is H H H L P e raised to j omega from equation E. And H H P E raised to J omega from equation C. Let's have a view of equation. E and equation C, or we can say it's equation. Uh, this equation I'm using. Basically, I'm going to use this. So, for designing of band reject filter, H L P E raised to J omega with cut off omega one, and plus H H P E raised to J omega with cut off omega two. But here condition is omega two must be greater than omega one. So by taking inverse D T F T, we obtain H B R F N, and H B R F N is equal to H T N. From this, it is equal to H L P N, and this from this, it is equal to H H P H H P N, and substituting the value of H L P N, that is equal to sine omega one n minus m minus one by two divided by pi n minus m minus one by two plus this is for the H H P N as discussed in the in uh, as discussed above. H H P N. I will show you that it is H H P N. So substituting this value there. So impulse response, the impulse response of band reject filter H N. Now this is once more non-causal. So The range of n is minus one to infinity. So, for designing the impulse response of band reject filter H n, I need to multiply H d n with W n, 
and that will make it a finite impulse response sequence filter finite impulse response filter so after calculating this wn is the kaiser window and in time domain and hdn i have hdn i have given represented here expressed here so by multiplication of both kaiser window and hdn i can calculate hn now by taking dtf uh, dtft i can obtain h e raised by j omega through matlab that is frequency response of band reject filter using kaiser window and therefore the magnitude response is 20 log 10 magnitude h omega versus omega the interested students can uh, calculate dtft after, after calculating hn through matlab and plot the magnitude response and analyze the plot Now next is very important article that is design of FIR differentiators using the window method. An ideal differentiator has a frequency response that is linearly proportional to frequency. Therefore, an ideal digital differentiator is defined as the one that has the frequency response h cap d omega is equal to j omega. Omega lying between minus pi to pi. This you have done in signal analysis system. That differentiator will have frequency domain response h d cap omega is equal to j omega. The corresponding unit sample response corresponding to h cap d omega is. H cap d n is equal to one by two pi minus pi to pi. That is, I am covering the full range. H cap d omega e raised by j omega and d omega. I can set the range from minus omega c to omega c also, but here I am considering the full range. That is, I am setting omega c is equal to pi. So for omega c is equal to pi over the full range, differentiator. designed over the full range instead of omega c i will use pi here so it will give me this integration will give me cos pi n over n for n ranging between minus infinity to infinity but n is not equal to 0 once more that is a problem that n n is not equal to 0 so i will calculate it by l hospital's rule that what is h cap h cap d Zero. It is apparent that the ideal differentiator has an anti-symmetrical unit sample response. From this formula, I can view that is h cap d n is equal to minus h cap d minus n, with h cap d zero is equal to zero. I can find out very easily that h cap d zero is equal to zero, and this is anti-symmetric case. In view of the fact that ideal differentiator has anti symmetric unit sample response we shall confine our attention to fir designs in which hn is equal to minus h m minus 1 minus n with m odd in this case the real valued frequency response of fir filter hr omega has the characteristic characteristic that hr0 is equal to 0 this i have done in a previous lecture a zero response at zero frequency is just the condition that the differentiator should satisfy it must be noted that the signal delay introduced by any linear phase filter fir filter is m minus 1 by 2 which is not an integer when m is even therefore for an integer value delayed delay in the signal at the output of differentiator we need to select capital m to be odd if a full band differentiator is desired that is from minus pi to pi it is impossible to achieve it with an fir filter having an odd number of coefficients because hr omega at omega is equal to pi hr pi is equal to 0 for m is equal to odd so this is a problem 
when I will choose m is equal to odd. But actually, in practice, the full band differentiators are rarely required. So the range is not from minus pi to phi in for practical applications. So I would go for odd because there is only one problem. So in practice, however, the full band differentiators are not are rarely required. So if they are not required so much, so we will decide uh, we will choose m is equal to odd. Therefore, we consider the case hn is equal to minus hm minus 1 minus n with m odd in the design process. Now the desired response of discrete time differentiator with linear phase is considered to be h differentiator omega is equal to h d omega that is desired response here j omega. Now once more this factor comes into picture because I am giving a delay of m minus 1, f m minus 1 by 2 units in time domain which is reflected as a phase in frequency domain so h d omega is equal to j omega e raised to minus j omega minus e raised to minus j omega m minus 1 by 2 in the range omega ranging from minus pi to plus pi this is common fact for all filter design so corresponding to that Taking inverse DTFT, HDN is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration minus pi to pi HD omega e raised to j omega and d omega. Now, the, consequently, the unit sample response is approximately equal to cos bracket pi bracket n minus bracket m minus 1 by 2 divided by n minus bracket m minus 1 by 2 when n ranges from minus infinity to infinity, but n not equal to m minus 1 by 2. Once more, this comes into picture, this condition. And for m, n is equal to m minus 1 by 2, it is coming out to be 0. You can get it through L hospital's rule. Now, using the window method for FIR differentiator design, once more, I will use the same windowing technique to make hn finite of fi make hn length of hn finite that is hn is having values for n in the range 0 to m minus 1 the impulse response of differentiator hn is equal to hdn into wn that is wn is window function you can use the case window and the length of window is from 0 to m minus 1 so hn will be having length 0 to m minus 1. Now once more I am going to take DTFT of hn. This is impulse response of differentiator using FIR filter. So after taking his DFT, DTFT I will get h e raised to j omega which is frequency response of differentiator using the window function. And the corresponding magnitude response is 20 log magnitude h omega versus omega. Here, uh, I will uh, use a different terminology that for appropriate display of results, we need to use magnitude h omega by pi versus omega by pi. And this is how we normalize it. And in the MATLAB, I have designed it FIA differentiator design using window method with m is equal to 37. I have used two windows, Hamming window and rectangular window. And you can see that if I'm using a rectangular windows window, there are a lot of ripples. And if I'm using a Hamming window, then I can see in that is a, the magnitude response of FIR differentiator is shown in red for Hamming window. And this is a linear response. So it is what I want. Up to 0.9, it is linear. And after, after that point, uh, nearly 0.9, it's linear. But after that, it is not following the same fashion. So I cannot design a full band differentiator, but by using this technique, 
we can use windows to design fir differentiators for industrial applications also here we have fused m is equal to odd and there are a number of methods to design the fir digital uh, differentiators and i am discussing the most important one which you can do with your in which and by this technique you can design your fir differentiator and you can see the results in matlab at your places so these are the reference books and that's all for the day thanks for attending this session on dsp see you in next lecture